Hello and welcome to Electronics for Absolute Beginners. In this video, we'll look at how to use a digital multimeter to measure resistance. A multimeter is a piece of test or measurement equipment that enables you to check the voltage in volts, current in amps and resistance in ohms in a circuit. It is in fact a combination of three separate test tools. A voltmeter, an ammeter and an ohmmeter. There are essentially two types of multimeter. Digital, which has an LCD screen that gives a decimal readout, and analog, which has a display whereby a bar moves across a scale of numbers and must be interpreted. One other thing to consider is that digital multimeters can be auto-ranging. What this means is that once you set the multimeter to read current, for example, it doesn't matter whether you're measuring a few milliamps or a few amps, the device automatically adjusts itself to cope with this. With a multimeter that is not auto-ranging, you need to select an appropriate range before taking a measurement. So if we consider this simple circuit that contains a resistor and an LED, we can use a multimeter to check the value of the resistor. When measuring resistance in a circuit, the first thing to do is to remove the power supply. The multimeter itself will provide the necessary voltage in order to measure the resistance. For a non-auto-ranging meter, connect the black test lead to the COM jack and the red test lead to the voltage stroke ohm jack. For an auto ranging meter the leads are permanently connected so you don't need to do this. Next set the rotary switch to ohms. I am to know that the resistor's value is about 470 ohms so, in this case I set the switch to a position that is higher than 470, say 2K, as shown here. For an auto-ranging meter, just set the rotary switch to ohms. You don't need to worry about selecting the range because there aren't any to choose from. Now, with the multimeter switched on, put one of the multimeter's probes on one side of the resistor, and the other probe on the other side of the resistor. It doesn't matter which probe you use on which side of the resistor. Read the resistance value on the multimeter's display. So you can see that the true value of the resistor is 466 ohms, which isn't far off the expected value of 470. That's it. Thanks very much for watching.